Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Now, today I've got in my hands a dash cam. Now, I've seen on the internet many videos where people like crash into each other, and you'll mostly see that kind of stuff in Russia, where dash cams are mandatory for insurance. Now, in North America and in Canada, where I am, um, they're not mandatory. However, it's a not half bad investment if you're gonna like say drive a lot in your vehicle. So say you're driving, you get in an accident, and say that you crash into someone. If the guy ahead of you is say an a-hole or whatever you wanna call him, he does something bad, but you can't prove it. If you have a dash cam, you can see anything and everything. So if some guy cuts you off, say if you're turning left and you hit him, it's his fault. However, you'll have a dash cam to record it and you have proof. Now. This camera that I have right here is a Vantru dash cam. It records in 2.5K, it records in 1080p, it's awesome at nighttime video, and I'm gonna go over all the little features about this thing. So, let's take this back to square one. This is the little dash cam, okay? So this is the entire thing, that's what's, you know, that's the meat and the potatoes of this. It's got a large LCD screen on the back. It's currently got like the little uh, plastic protector on it from uh, from when it was shipped. It's got buttons on the top. It's got an SD card mount on the side On the other side, it's got two more buttons one up one down and on the bottom We've got our outputs and uh, charging ports. So that's where we would hook up to USB That's your HDMI output and in the center. We've got a little spot for our microphone So this is the camera now This is our mount that attaches to the camera and if you'll note the mount has a little metal connector on the inside of it. So that connects into the camera, and there's actually a built-in GPS into this mount. So you can see GPS locations of wherever you are while you're recording. Now, this hooks up to, the, to your dash, or your windshield, or whatever you want to mount it to. And on the side, that's where you're gonna hook up your charging port, so it's nice and clean and out of the way. And your charger is right here. It hooks up to the car charger, and this end here, you can either hook up to the mount or to the camera. It doesn't really matter. I like hooking up to the mount because it's not attached to the camera and it's not really in the way. So this is how this all works. So you attach um, the mount up to the camera, you attach that up to your window, you hook up the charger up to it, and you're good. It also has an accelerometer, so if someone hits you and say your car is parked, um, if you have an external power source and this is hooked up and it's working, you can record all of that stuff. Um, this thing has a lot of features and everything is outlined in the owner's manual and the owner's manual will show you Anything and everything you need to know for this camera how to use it how to set it up and everything So let's hook this all up So the way that you hook this thing up to your car is you've got your little camera right here You hook it up to your mount to your little GPS mount and it clips in place So you just slide it in Like that and then at this point you're gonna turn this so you're gonna turn the back side of the mount so the suction cup is pushed out, and then when you turn it in, it pulls it and holds pressure. So you can hook this you can hook this up anywhere you want. Um, ideally, you want to put this um, in a place that's not gonna be interfering with your rearview mirror. So if I'm driving and I'm looking in my rearview mirror, it's not maybe obstructing anything else um, in my point of view. So if I want to see over there, the the camera isn't gonna be in the way, blocking whatever I want to see. So once you have it up, push against it, and then turn that little mount to suction cup it in place. Now at that point, you're gonna be hooking up your power source to it. Now it does come with a built-in battery and it's there for like little backups, like a little just-in-case scenario. So say if someone hits you, um, the accelerometer's turned on and that will be able to record whatever happens. So you've got your uh, power source that hooks up to the to your DC right here, your 12 volt outlet inside the car. And it's nice because whenever that's plugged in, you also have a USB connection attached to that. So say you wanna charge your phone, hook it in there, and you're done. Um, now when you have power, once you have power with that, there's a little LED on here and it'll turn blue. So next up, grab your power source and just hook it up into the top part of the mount. So you can hook it up to the mount or up to the camera. It's entirely up to you. Now the only reason why I'm doing the mount is because it's more out of the way. And then at this point, you've got a really long cable to work with. So what I did, or actually what I'm going to do, is hook up the wire and outline it around the windshield so it's not dangling in the way. Now I'll show you guys in a second where I got these things. However, all that you're doing is you're um, grabbing one of these little clips, attaching it to the cable, like that, and then you just take off the little uh, adhesive part right here, 
stick it to wherever you want and it's out of the way. Now, if you want, you can outline it so it goes around this side, or if you want, you can go around that side. It doesn't matter, it's entirely up to you. However, once you have that up and you get your keys, wherever I put them, you get your keys, you're gonna get power to this and it's gonna turn on. There you go. Now, if you can tell on the bottom corner, I set it up so it says Accord 1, it has the date, it has a timestamp, and it has everything on there. On the left, you can see that there's a little icon on the bottom that shows that the uh, micro SD is inserted, the microphone is working, and if you can see on the left, see that like little, the recirculating arrow? Um, that just shows that all the footage that I'm recording will repeat over itself. Oops, well, it'll, it'll repeat over itself um, once the memory card gets full. Now you can set it up um, so that the screen will turn off in a minute, five minutes, or whatever. And that's what I have it set up to. I have it set up for a minute. On the right, top right, you can see that it's got power. And in the center, you can see that's the recording time. So this is essentially everything for the camera. Now as for the functions, everything is outlined inside the owner's manual that comes included with your box. So you've got the owner's manual here. It'll show you how to set it up what to do with the video, what the buttons do, where to set it up, and everything. It's actually, you know, th I think this might be the first owner's manual I've actually ever read, and it's very helpful because you learn a lot about um, the little dash cam. Now, something that I learned is that the SanDisk micro SDs, for some reason, the Vantru doesn't like them. However, the Samsung ones, they do. Uh, I picked up a 64 gig, and that's the biggest that this supports. And it even shows you in here, um, if you're going to be recording, say, at the 2.5K or 1080p at 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, it'll show you how long of footage you have for here. So there's the times. And if you can see on the right, with a 64 gig, that's how much space, uh, that's how long of a video you can keep inside of there. So you can also choose how long these things loop at. So say you want to set up each video to be five minutes. After that, it makes a new video. Um, it's really sweet. There's a lot of functions, a lot of options you can play around with with this Vantru dash cam, and I love it. I've been playing around with it for the last, I want to say, week, and I'll show you right now some of the footage that I've gotten. Now what's nice about this little dash cam is that you can throw it in your car and not have to worry about it. So it doesn't matter if it's nighttime or daytime, the video will still record and it's not half bad come nighttime. Now usually most dash cams when it comes to nighttime video, they're absolutely horrible. But you can still make out a good amount of stuff and say, you know, there's a license plate that you want to make out, you can definitely do that using this. Now you can record in 1080p and you can also record in 2.5K. Now because this video that I'm exporting and you guys are watching is only available in 1080p, you guys can't really see the definition and detail of the 2.5K video. Now once you guys record in 2.5K and you look at it on your computer, you can tell for yourself how awesome it looks. Unfortunately for the video, you're kind of restricted as to what the video itself is recorded. Now, I really advise you guys to pick one of these things up because it's gonna be a weird point. So say something ever happens to your car and you don't have one of these things. What you're gonna do is you're gonna really wish and regret that you didn't buy one of these from before. Now, these things are cheap. You can pick them up on Amazon with the SD card, all those little mounts. I'll have links for everything in the description box. Now, I did kind of get in a little accident before. I had my car parked at my friend's house not too long ago. And if someone drove by and scuffed up, this little bottom section right here on the bumper. They scraped up here and here and drove off. I have no idea who it was. And if I had a dash cam, I might have been able to see um, the car driving away or whatever it might be. I might be able to pick up a license plate. Might, hell, it might even have been one of my friends. I don't know. But without the dash cam, I have no idea. For the price that you're paying for a dash cam like this that I record at such good quality, there's no reason why you shouldn't have one and you shouldn't buy one of these things. I really wish that I picked one up a while ago and it's really simple to install. You can take it in whatever car you're driving. So you have three cars. Say I'm working with the Mini and the Accord. If I'm driving the Accord, I can put it in here. If I'm taking the Mini, I can put it in there. It takes two seconds to throw it in your car. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding the video, throw them down in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.